Are you serious? Are you serious? <clears throat> Folks, there's a situation developing right now in Flint, Michigan. I'm very concerned, very concerned about the residents of Flint, Michigan. And I think you got to stay on top of this, folks, because we're talking about a wormwood effect. No, not because of, like it says in Revelation, it's not an asteroid crashed into the sea and, or and polluted the rivers, but something has polluted the rivers and it's lead. It is lead poisoning. It's because the city of Flint changed their water source. They had been getting the water from Detroit, had already been pre-treated water from Detroit that they had gotten from Lake Huron and the Flint, uh, Flint, Michigan city officials who were actually being overseen by uh, government uh, employees because Flint uh, was bankrupt and so was Detroit. And they decided to try to save money by getting the water from the Flint River instead of having it shipped in or, you know, uh, piped in from Detroit. So they Sweat switched and connected to the Flint River. The problem is they didn't treat the water properly. And so as the water's going through the old lead pipes in Flint, the pipes, which are made of lead, start corroding. And this corrosion of lead poisoning gets in the water. And for 18 months, children are getting sick all over the city. The water turned brown like my shirt. Are you serious? What? Now, the National Guard has just been called out uh, this I told you guys, I told you last week, stay on top of this and don't be surprised if the National Guard doesn't get involved because it's going to get chaotic there. It's going to, the chaos is going to begin and it's simply because it, people don't have anything to drink. And this is a very poor economic area. And the last thing they need is to have the poisoned water on top of everything else. Well, members of the Michigan National Guard we're headed to Flint, Michigan. And I noticed President Obama didn't, didn't mention this or the methane gas leak in California. You know, none of those things didn't mention the 10 sailors that were captured by the Iranians. None of those things were part of the State of the Union address. I mean, he lives in a fantasy land. Seriously, a fantasy land. Uh, members of though the Michigan National Guard were headed to Flint, Michigan to help pass out some bottled water and some water filters and other supplies to residents dealing with a drinking water crisis that began months ago, 18 months ago. Governor Rick Snyder, uh, who has declared a state of emergency, and many are calling for him to be arrested and to resign. Uh, he's activated now the National Guard, and some members were expected to arrive today to assist the state authorities and volunteers in the distribution effort that has already been taken underway. And it's not good. And I, I said that, where's FEMA? Are they there? I mean, there needs to be a massive uh, amount of bottled water and some type of temporary water uh, system set up for the residents of this entire community of Flint, Michigan. You can't just send a, a few bottles out there, have a police officers driving around the street, which is what they were doing, police officers cruising through town, handing out bottles of water. That's not going to get it done. This is a massive problem. It has to be dealt with in a professional way. All hands on deck. This should have been mentioned in the uh, State of the Union address. This is a huge problem, and it's not going away. And what about the ramification of the sick children? And with levels, and this is how this was finally came to the attention of the authorities, was uh, pediatrician doctors finding kids coming in every day with lead poisoning, getting sick, bloody noses, and all kinds of different things, uh, you know, and concern of brain tumors and all kinds of uh, behavioral problems and all kinds of things wrong uh, from lead poisoning. Uh, Flint's tap water has been contaminated with too much lead, 19 times more lead than the highest levels you could ever handle. And oh, by the way, what about the cover-up? They were testing water before it ran through the pipes. They were, they, were, they were throwing out test results of the real high amounts of lead. They were, uh, they were rigging the testing to try to get out of the situation. Oh, by the way, they have switched back to Lake Huron water from Detroit, but guess what? The pipes are already corroded, so the lead is still in the water. There's something in the water. 
It's almost like it's bitter. It's it's wormwood. Uh, it, it's 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 the wormwood effect, a precursor to what's going to come up on the world. When the Bible tells you that the rivers and the streams are going to be poisoned with this wormwood. Well, Flint's uh, water is contaminated. They tried to save money. Uh, under The state was under a financial management. Local officials first declared a public health emergency in October after 18 months of the lead-laden water. Uh, Rick Snyder, the governor... Uh, also requested support from the Federal Emergency Management Agency. What I tell you, here comes FEMA. I said it last week. FEMA, where is FEMA? You got to call in FEMA, and they'll call in the National Guard. And it's not over. This thing could turn into some rioting in the streets. If there was a time that that it would be that the citizens of a community truly need to organize and do civil disobedience and protesting against their government and their area, this would probably qualify. This is something they really need to do. This is a serious, 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 I am serious problem. This is something that they should march on City Hall about. This is something they should march on the Capitol about. Um, so we're going to kick back. I mean, this is a huge story. The Red Cross has sent out... Um, there's 30, more than 30 National Guardsmen have, have been sent in. There's a few people, volunteers are in now from the American Red Cross. They're trying to go door to door. They don't have enough people. Uh, they're, they're, they're telling residents where they can go and pick up bottled water and filters. Of course, we got a lot of elderly in that area, uh, a lot of underprivileged, a lot of folks that don't have uh, financial means. They don't, have, they, don't have, they don't own a car. This is very difficult, very difficult. It's going to take more than 30 uh, FEMA, it's going to take, FEMA's, a, FEMA's now what, 10 days late? Um, still not there. We're looking for FEMA to show up. Uh, National Guard's going to show up today, this afternoon. The Red Cross is trying. Uh, and it's just, uh, I'll, I'm staying on top of this. I'm staying on top of this. Flint, Michigan. You know, I was in Flint, Michigan. I, I last September, I preached in Lansing, Michigan, and in Dwajak, Michigan. But uh, as I, when I went to Canada and preached, on the way back, we stayed there in uh, Detroit. We went through Flint, Michigan. And, you know, this is an area of people that truly do not deserve to be abandoned. We're going to stay on top of the story. We're not going to ignore it. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Pray for these people. Keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on, folks. In Jesus' name.